Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. And I've decided uh, this morning after breakfast uh, just to head down to the lighthouse over uh, there. Uh, you may have noticed uh, the lighthouse with Beau Rivage in the background on my uh, intro. It's obviously stock footage, so I just wanted to go and see it uh, for real, actually. So it's great to come to you from Biloxi. This is sort of like, um, well, not really time-wise, but in my head, it's sort of halfway through the trip, trip in a way. Uh, we put strategic sort of uh, two-night stays, well, three nights at the beginning, two nights here, and a couple of nights in Reno at the end as sort of relaxing breaks, if you like. So it was a deliberate plan that way. And we don't have to check out until, we got a late check out at 1 p.m. tomorrow. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's time just to take stock, chill out a bit, do a bit of quality gambling, and not uh, chase around so much that we, as we have been the last few days. And just interestingly, I mean, this is the Gulf here, and the water is very brown, actually. So it's not a coast, it's a Gulf. But yesterday's drive was uh, a long one. The gambling yesterday was excellent, as uh, you heard at the end of the vlog. So we've sort of won back a little of what we lost in the Midwest. As Jules would say, it's the natural variance. <laughs> Jules is very much into natural variance. For me, it's uh, whether I feel lucky or not in a casino, but uh, there you go. So this is, uh, this is nice. Beau Rivage is just there. So in Biloxi, there are basically eight casinos. There's a Hard Rock, there's a Golden Nugget, there's a Boyd property, I can't recall the name of it. I'm not chasing around the other seven. Um, I didn't really feel like I'd completed the Beau Rivage Casino yesterday. There's great, some great games in there. And I will show you Beau Rivage inside a little bit later in this vlog because I think all you Vegas uh, fans, certainly from the 90s, will appreciate just how like Bellagio it is from that era. Um, I mean, it's literally like Bellagio was when it first opened. I think this opened uh, shortly afterwards and it's obviously still Steve Wynn and everything. It's, it's like Bellagio's little brother. So I will show you when I get back from uh, having a look at uh, the lighthouse down here and it uh, but it looks absolutely spotless it, it doesn't look like there's been any wear to it so it's been maintained incredibly well and I just wanted to say I did try although it's not on my five things to try in the south I did try grits for breakfast this morning <laughs> um, which is like a, a cornmeal I mean I had oatmeal but um, Jules said you must try grits, which is like a cornmeal version. I didn't really think much to it, to be honest. Some people put um, butter and stuff in it, but I would have said it was it should be a sweet taste, but anyway, I don't know. What do I know? Anyway, we're heading over there. I'll meet you at the lighthouse.
the uh, Biloxi Lighthouse. There's a, a, a pier over there dating back to 1699 apparently, but uh, it doesn't appear to be an active one because there's no boardwalk, there's just stilts in effect. And I have to say, um, you do notice very much the humidity here compared with anywhere else we've been both prior to this and obviously when compared to Vegas. Uh, it's sort of 85 degrees today. Um, there's Spur Revage in the background. 85 degrees today and apparently it feels like about 95 because of the humidity. So I'm going to head back now to Beau Rivage. There's a little door on the uh, lighthouse. I'm going to head back to Beau Rivage, uh, do a little bit of gambling, and take it from there. No plans really today. I might head. I might pop into Hard Rock, which I think is next door. We'll see. Just see how uh, see how things go. I'll see you back and I'll show you the inside of. Bellagio's little brother. So I'm just going to show you the uh, entrance and the foyer for Beau Rivage. To show you the similarities between it and uh, Bellagio in Vegas. There's only the single fountain out here, which has actually just been switched off because there's a severe weather warning for the next hour or so. You may have heard the wind as I was doing the beach walk earlier. Well, if you look up there, it's uh, <laughs> looking pretty grey. So I think a storms are brewing. There's already been some thunderclaps and some lightning that I heard from my room and saw through the window. So we'll get in pretty quick. But as you can see, just even out here, yeah, that's very s similar to uh, the Bellagio look. The light, the lighting is exactly the same. I do think a Bellagio's little brother is a pretty good description of it. You know, the lights up there in the entrance, similar. And really, if you didn't look outside um, as you're walking around the inside of the property, you would be forgiven for thinking that was exactly where you are, you were. Uh, it has exactly the same vibe as uh, Bellagio does. Just on a slightly smaller scale. So just walking in here, you'll... They've got a sort of conservatory type uh, setup. Again, not as grand, but not dissimilar. Pretty cool. And actually, if you look at the drapes up there, um, they're all throughout the casino like that. And this is the drapes I always thought were a very famous part of Bellagio, the Bellagio sort of look when it first opened uh, to the sort of early 2000s. Here is, uh, they're giving away three cars like this. Uh, over the next three months, June, July, and August. That's the car they're giving away for June. Checking areas over there. And I'm guessing these fireworks are for US Independence Day, I'm guessing. Pretty cool again. And then once again, American flag, pretty cool. And I'll take you as far as the casino entrance. I won't go in because I'm likely to get stopped. One thing I've noticed actually in all of these casinos, regional casinos, is that they have security 
on the casino entrance section. Obviously Vegas doesn't, but every single one I think has here where they sort of check ID and all that type of thing. The lifts to your room are there. And again, if you look in the distance there, you'll see the drapes all the way across the tables and everything as they were originally in Bellagio. So I'll stop here in case I get uh, pulled up. And when I get a suitable moment later on, I will show you the casino proper. Okay, so on Duo Fu, Duo Chai, Grand. I went on this because uh, the Grand on here is 3,006. That seems really high. And the fortune at 16 grand seems quite high. Um, I'm basically down uh, $219 as we speak. Uh, came down, uh, literally lost 200 just like that on uh, Chica Bonita uh, and a uh, nightlife locket link. Anyway, we're doing five cent denomination, five dollars a bet. So this could be good. We're going to do the mystery. Here we go. 15 free games, come on. Two to sit, okay, well that's three better than it would have been normally. So these sort of fly in, they're obviously wild. Is there anything there? We've got 15 free games. That's 41. Okay, there's a bit there. 46. You can do it with a re-trigger, obviously. And we need the box to close. Okay, so two of those is, is uh, a re-trigger. Okay, so six of 18. So you don't need three, that's good. Up to 63. Come on, close the damn box. See, the, on this, the Mini's 44, the Mine is 94. It's kind of worth winning. Rather than your normal 10.50 or whatever it is. 79, okay. 10 of 18. 89.50, come on. That should make the 100. No, 94.50, okay. Four games left. After this one. Any chance for a re-trigger? Come on. I'm not disappointed with this anyway. Oh, look. Where were you in the second low row there? Okay, that's decent. Right, surely. That's good, right? Okay, that's good. There you go. So how much is this then? 148. Okay. Well, that's very good. Happy with that. Actually, the line hits aren't the best on that game, are they? You would have thought a full screen of that would be better than uh, uh, 50 bucks. But anyway, puts me only down 70 now. So that was Duo Foo Duo Chai Grand. Okay, so we're back on uh, Choi's Kingdom. Uh, the same game as uh, last night, but I've got the free games feature this time. Uh, got to, down to 134. Uh, five bucks a spin, one dollar denomination. That was the one I was on last night, so I decided to go on a different one. Major jackpot on this one is 701, which is slightly higher. So, do I do three games with 80 bags added, six at 55 or 10 at 38? We're gonna go for it, there we go. Gives us more chance of a hold and spin. But we've only got three chances of getting it. <laughs> there we go, come on. Just give us one hold and spin, please. Yes! It paid off. Awesome. Right choice. Lucky, lucky man. It sounds like he's saying lucky, lucky man. <laughs> I don't know what exactly he is saying. Anyway, we've got a 75 there. So here we go. We are, we're on it again. My, my new favourite game. Here we go. Yes. 
So we need two for the third one, 22 for the fourth one. I can't believe this is going to be as good as it was yesterday. No, it isn't. Hang on, here we go. One second. Mind you, I never had a 75 at all last time. Come on, just give us one more. One more, come on. Okay, that's the reality then. You don't always get up to the third and fourth. But that's a really, really good win, look. I haven't done much gambling today. Um, but this will put me basically level at least going into tonight. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go and get some food after this. So we've got one more spin. Can we get one more hold and spin with the final spin? Come on. Come on. Oh, just there. Anyway, 170 bucks. We're actually $4 ahead for the uh, quick session we've had this afternoon. This game is good. I do like it. We will be playing this again. That's what it's called. Choi's Kingdom. Okay, so with the uh, storm raging outside, I decided to uh, start on pinball. I was going to go down to Hard Rock tonight, but to be honest, I don't really want to go out of here with the uh, weather as it is. So it looks like it's going to be a Beau Rivage only uh, visit, which is fine by me. We're seeing more than enough casinos over the next uh, God knows how many days. So uh, anyway, this is my 300 ticket from earlier on, down to 149. We finally get the pinball, the uh, first bonus of the evening. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. Go any better than a 10, come on. Quick shout out to Carol, who I just met in the bar in Beau Rivage. It was lovely to chat to you, Carol. Safe trip back to Florida. And thank you so much for traveling all that distance. I really appreciate it. Okay, third shot. Okay, it's not too bad. Two left, come on, give me an 80 or 100, come on. I thought it was going in the 80 actually. Okay, you can't complain at 100. Can't complain at 100. Okay, we're on this uh, Fortune Mint game I played yesterday, you may remember. Had some success on it. Uh, ticket out of uh, Pinball down to 203. 340 bet, one cent denomination. We've got the three free games. Uh, 10 free games, sorry. Here we go. Yes. Far, far, far. Far, far, far. <laughs> so that's 26A. Oh, 10 times. Do you need the you need that coin there? That's 10 times what? Not a lot. No, 25, okay. So if you can get those multipliers one after the other, that's where you're in the big money. 51A, okay. But you don't get the multiplier unless you have the coin in the first row. So six of ten. Oh, come on, don't dead spin me. Come on. Right now. Oh. Last game. Yeah, that wasn't as good as uh, yesterday. Still, we're hovering around about the 250 mark. Okay, we're on a Rika Treasure Train. This is a new variation on the game, but I've just got the regular bonus rather than the enhanced one. But I am uh, 300 bucks down. This is my 400, and I got it literally uh, on the second spin at six bucks a press, one dollar denomination. So we upped it a little bit there. So uh, dollar denomination could be all right. Let's see how we go. Here we go. Okay. Come on, three dynamite spins remaining, come on. Uh, come on. Yep, okay. Excellent. So we got up to 20 carts there, mine are available, the mine is 12.50 up there. So that's chances. 
we can fit in those two, that would be good. Okay, well, not a disaster. That'll be bet back, I would imagine, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think it goes at the top there, here we go. One dollar, ten dollars, come on. Yeah, these aren't great, are they? <laughs> Dear, oh dear, no way. This is very poor. Seriously? Oh my word, no way. 45 bucks, that's not good. Yeah, okay. So 75 bucks. Mm. That was underwhelming at six bucks a press. Okay, we're now on the Ultimate Farnic Explosion. Now this game, honestly, I must have put at least 500 bucks in it and probably never got a bonus. This is the first time I've ever got a bonus on it. Uh, and it's 10 cent denomination, three dollar bet. Uh, still 300 down, plus a little bit there. Uh, but we have got a 10 and a 15. Monkeys threw enough balls down to finally get me a bonus. So let's hope it's worthwhile. Here we go. Okay, they throw them down as well on the bonus, which is interesting, okay. There they are up there. Minor 250, Mini 100, Major 706. Yeah. They actually throw them down far more in the uh, bonus than they do in the regular game. We've got a Mini at the top there, but we need 11 more to get that. Okay. There's a 15 up there, we can get two more. Come on, keep it going, please. Come on, two spins, come on. Yes. Okay, one more. Okay, come on. Keep it going, come on. Yes. That's good. So you basically need five more to get a mini of a hundred at the top there at least. Come on. Come on monkeys, don't stop throwing the uh, balls down please. I think it's finished with me. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, it has, okay. Well, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not a bad little bonus, actually, to be fair. It's nice to break my duck on this new, uh, Farling game. <laughs> yeah, should nudge. Okay, 91. I was going to say, should nudge, up. nudge 100, but 91's good. Stops the bleed a little. Okay, here's a new game Ultimate Screaming Lynx. Uh, those are the amounts on offer up there. It's basically a hold and spin where you uh, unlock this top section. Um, 400 down, sorry, 450 down actually. Three bucks a spin. Um, we've got, you need five balls on this one, not four or six, <laughs> just to be different. Anyway, here we go. So I'm not actually quite sure how you uh, open that up actually. I, I think it, it's probably something to do with this middle one because that seems to be where all the action happens, or maybe not. Well, it's shooting things up there, but quite what that means, I've no idea. Come on. Okay, so I'm assuming you need that, which probably then, oh, hang on, what's happening? Oh, right, okay. So it's telling you which one it's gonna open. So I've got to hit a button, okay. Sorry, I'm just learning this with you. The small bonus is uh, 40. Number five would be pretty good. So if we go for three or five, it would be nice. Five's nice. There's a 24 there. So that now opens up and I get all those, I'm assuming. Yep. That's good, okay. Keep on going. Yes, this is decent actually. Come on.
Come on, one more of those things. This is a nice bonus anyway. Yeah, I think that's it, but come on, keep it going, come on. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, how much have I got? See, I'm struggling to hit anything much on anything. I just uh, put a load in uh, Chica Bonita. A couple of hundred, literally with no bonus at all. Couldn't get anything, so and that's been my go-to lately, really. But that's welcome, up to 164. Okay, so it okay, increases one of the values. I'll give this another, I don't know, few presses, but it's quite an interesting game. Okay, back on Rocket Link. This major is ridiculously high on this. 3,348. It never gets like that. So six free games. This is the ticket I took out of that uh, odd little uh, hold and spin game. Uh, $5 bet. I got it quite quickly actually on 10 cent denomination. We could do with a decent hit of something because we've uh, hem hemorrhaged money tonight a little bit. Here we go. Come on. So six games. Come on, we could do with a... No, that's terrible. Okay, it's a bit there. Okay, 100. Oh, right, yeah, decent. That's a nice hit, actually. Come on, final chance. Okay. Okay. 169 bucks. Oh, wow. So, despite the fact I didn't get the feature, that was a nice line hit, that one. Awesome. Okay, uh, some late night Dragon Link action. Max that major of a thousand there. So, I'm going to go for a couple of hundred on this to finish the evening off. Say, so not being particularly successful, down to 90 from what you saw before. Here we go. We had a good win yesterday, so uh, overall the two days at Beau Rivage have actually been pretty good. Come on, keep it going. Oh, I saw a bit of green there. <laughs> Flash by, I don't know if you did, but I did. Come on, keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad little bonus, keeps me going for a bit, for sure. Okay, so flicked over to one cent denomination, 50 cent versus five dollars, and I got it on the five dollars. I've had a couple of questions about, um, oh, you always seem to hit it on the five dollars. Um, I don't actually film the 50 cent bonuses if I do hit it on that. Um, so this time I got it on the five dollars, and I actually haven't had any 50 cent bonuses tonight. So this was luck, but normally there is, you know, 50 cent bonuses thrown in. I just don't choose to show them. Anyway, here we go, 120 we're on, 10 bucks for all the pots. Come on, let's get a hold and spin, here we go. Blockers. Oh, 500 ball there, that would have been nice. That's okay. Oh, apart from that one little pot, but that's not bad. That's got to be decent, right? I'll tell you what, if you could have had a Buddha or... Um, the coins there, that would have been absolutely immense. But this actually should be quite good. Here we go, three, two, one. 142, yeah, 132, sorry. Come on. Oh, I've got a re-trigger there. Come on, one hold and spin would really make this bonus epic. Come on. 
Not gonna happen. Okay, that's still pretty good though. So it puts us up to 268. Okay, we got down to 85.96 on the dollar denomination, five dollars a press. Got the pop bonus, here we go. Okay, 24, come on. No. Come on, oh, blockers. We need a hold and spin, come on. We need a hold and spin. <laughs> when don't we? <laughs> oh, you bugger, there's a 250 ball there. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Yeah, it's up there, which means it's decent. Okay. Well, it keeps me going a little bit. So I cashed that ticket out at 100 in the end. I've sort of had enough. I'm quite tired tonight. But I've thoroughly enjoyed my two nights. I mean, it's not been two days, but it's been two nights in total staying at Beau Rivage. I've really felt like I've been in the Bellagio. <laughs> And I came out here actually to try and get some footage of the storm. I thought, yeah, let's get some uh, exciting thunderclaps and lightning and rain and everything else. And it's actually gone, <laughs> which I suppose is the nature of the beast in these parts. So I lost about 600 tonight in total. Obviously one more than that yesterday. So it's been a good couple of days. And yeah, it's actually pretty still. It's not even that breezy now. It's amazing actually how the weather changes when it's been so bad for most of the day. The original plan was for me to uh, go and see Hard Rock and maybe another casino, but you know what? We're seeing so many casinos over the next three weeks or the, the, the three weeks of Bridger Across America, plus all the Vegas ones as well. It's just another casino, you know? I mean, how different can they be? <laughs> so I'm quite happy just to make this my base or well, I've been quite happy to make this my base for the last uh, day and a bit so tomorrow we head to New Orleans now Suzanne is desperate to go to New Orleans uh, and it's the one stop that uh, when I told her I was going there she was a bit disappointed she wasn't coming with me so I'm going to call her from my phone via video and uh, show as much as I can when we arrive tomorrow. I've already booked the call in with her so we need to leave here around about midday to uh, make sure that I call her when I need to. Because I'd like to, I like to make sure she feels part of it. Um, but I will see her in less than two weeks anyway. And if uh, New Orleans is great then we'll come back together in the future. So it's, uh, I'm sort of uh, casing the joint just to decide whether we come back the two of us there. <laughs> I suppose I could stay here, couldn't I, if we do that. Anyway, halfway through Bridger Across America now, 11 nights gone, 11 nights to come. It's been an incredible uh, experience. It really has. Absolutely incredible. It's exceeded my expectations. Um, and the fact of the matter is it's clear now we are actually going to complete it, because I did wonder how difficult it would be, but we're both fairly uh, organised people and there hasn't been one incident where we have been late for each other at all, which when, you, when you're undertaking something like this, that is pretty key. <laughs> so uh, the next few days are going to be very interesting, fairly small journeys. It'd be nice to win a hand pay outside of Vegas, solo. I mean, I've obviously won one with uh, Jules and Ryan. But if it doesn't happen, we'll crank it up in Vegas and try and make it happen there, eh? Anyway, I will leave you here. Looks nice lit up in here, doesn't it, actually? I couldn't really um, film the casino, by the way. Uh, I don't want to get, I don't wanna get uh, hammered by security, so. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very much like uh, Bellagio, basically. Sort of circa 2000 to 2002. <laughs> so I'm off to bed in the lifts here. I will speak to you 
from New Orleans tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. Half gone, half to come. And then you've got bloody, what, 12 nights of Vegas or 13 nights or whatever it is. Jesus. You'll be sick of me by the end of, uh, sorry, mid-July. <laughs> I'll speak to you tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers.